In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask a blessed Mary ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love, and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The Lord tells Jeremiah that his message will be opposed by those who are not open to the ways of God. But the Lord stands by his prophet. The mission of Jeremiah prefigures that of Jesus of Nazareth. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The word of the Lord came to me saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I dedicated you, a prophet to the nations, I appointed you. But do you gird your loins, stand up, and tell them, all that I command you, be not crushed on their account, as though I would leave you crushed before them, for it is I this day who have made you a fortified city, a pillar of iron, a wall of brass, against the whole land, against Judah's kings and princes, against its priests and people. They will fight against you, but not prevail over you. For I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will sing of your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge, let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I will sing of your salvation. Be 
my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. I will sing of your salvation. For you are my hope, O Lord, my trust, O God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth. From my mother's womb, you are my strength. I will sing of your salvation. My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day your salvation. O God, you have taught me from my youth. Until the present, I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will sing of your salvation. In his famous hymn to love, Paul tells us what Christian love entails and why it is something for which we should all aspire. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts, but I shall show you a still more excellent way. If I speak in human and angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or a clashing cymbal. And if I have the gift of prophecy, and comprehend all mysteries and all knowledge. And if I have all faith, so as to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away everything I own, and if I hand my body over so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind. It is not jealous, it is not pompous, it is not inflated, it is not rude, it does not seek its own interests, it is not quick-tempered, it does not brood over injury, it does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. If there are prophecies, they will be brought to nothing. If tongues, they will cease. If knowledge, it will be brought to nothing. For we know partially and we prophesy partially, but when the perfect comes, the partial will pass away. When I was a child, I used to talk as a child, think as a child, reason as a child. When I became a man, I put aside childish things, at present, we see indistinctly as in a mirror, but then face to face. At present, I know partially, then I shall show fully, as I am fully known. So faith, hope, love remain, these three, but the greatest of this is love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. The Lord sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor, to proclaim liberty to captives.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus began speaking in, in, sin, in the synagogue saying, Today the scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing. And all spoke highly of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. They also asked, Isn't this the son of Joseph? He said to them, Surely you will quote me this proverb, Physician, cure yourself and say, Do here in your native place the things that we heard and were done in Capernaum. And he said to them, Amen, I say to you, No prophet is accepted in his own native place. Indeed, I tell you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah. I mean, the sky was closed for three and a half years, and a severe famine spread over the entire land. It was none of these that Elijah was sent, but only to a widow in Sarephath, in the land of Sidon. Again, there were many lepers in Israel during the time of Elisha the prophet, yet not one of them was cleansed, but only Naaman the Syrian. When the people in the synagogue heard this, they were all filled with fury, and they rose up, dragged him out of the town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town had been built, to hurl him down headlong. But Jesus passed through the midst of them and went away. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat at welcome po sa Minor Basilica ng Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Naalala niyo pa ba, perhaps nung elementary, yung iba sa atin dito, nung tinanong tayo, paglaki mo, ano bang gusto mo? Naalala niyo pa? Iba siguro sinasabi, gusto kong maging guro. Bakit? Gusto kong magturo. Siguro yung iba, gusto maging bumbero. Bakit? Para pag may sunog, tutulong ako sa pag-apula ng apoy. Gusto kong maging doktor para magpagaling. Minsan, may mga tinatanong kaming ganyang bata. Natawa kami sa isang bata, sabi niya, tinanong kasi, ikaw anong gusto mo paglaki mo? Sabi niya, gusto ko lang kumain. Sa bagay, tama din siya, hindi siya lalaki kung siya kakain. Meron pang isa, minsan pag tinituruan ng nanay, may mga grupo ng nanay na nagtuturo sa kanilang mga anak, anak, paglaki mo, gusto ko katulad kita. Tumingin yung bata sa nanay, sabi niya, nay, ayoko nang lumaki. Ito pong tandaan natin, na ang bawat isa po sa atin dito ay ipinanganak na may misyon sa buhay. We are willed, we are named, we are called, we are commissioned to have a mission in life. Handaan natin yan. Wala po dito ipinanganak dahil gusto lang ipanganak. Whatever circumstances it might be, sa mahirap ka na pagkakataon, meron kang mission. Why? Because God willed it so. And you are named, you are called, you are commissioned for a particular mission. Tandaan natin ito, tayo po ay tinawag sa isang mission. Kung ano man yun, di ko alam. Pero lahat tayo may mission. At ang mission natin is ito po, to proclaim that we are loved. Na tayo po yung minahal. Father, pero inabandon mo na ako, Father. But still, you are loved by God sapagkat binigyan ka ng buhay. Sabi ko nga, whatever circumstances it might be. We are all called to preach that love. Yan po yung sa first reading. Kaya nga tayo meron tayong tinatawag sa atin, we have a mission of universality. Na lahat tayo ay tinawag para sa isang misyon. Hindi lamang dito sa Pilipinas, kundi kahit saan ka man mapunta sa mundong ibabaw na ito. God willed it. 
We are called by God. We are commissioned by God to preach His love. Pagpupunta po tayo sa ibang bansa, kung napunta na po kayo doon, Europe, US, halos lahat ng countries, alam niyo ang bubuhay sa mga simbahan doon? Mga Pilipino. Pilipino ang bubuhay sa simbahan. Halos lahat. Sa Italy, ay ako. May sariling community ang mga Pilipino. Why? Because of our mission of universality. Pang lahat. Kaya nga si Jeremiah sa unang pagbasa, You are a prophet to all nations. At anong ipipreach niya? Kung titignan natin yung second reading, The reason for preaching is love. And the greatest gift that we could receive is also love. And the best preaching that we could preach is also love. Sabi nga, di ba, kung nakinig kayo sa second reading, kahit gaano ka pakagaling magsalita kung walang pagmamahal at pag-ibig sa puso mo para ka lang isang gong na maingay pero wala namang saysay. Kaya nga kung titinan natin, pag-ibig. The universality of love. When you love, you don't choose. Pansin niya, kapag ka nagmahal ka, Kapag tunay kang nagmamahal, hindi mo titignan yung kulay. Hindi mo titignan yung shape ng mata. Ay, mga kabataan yun, mahilig ka pagka Korean. Ano sa'yo? Ano ba? Korean? No? Ah, gwapo, Father. Love, love, love. Ganon na mga kabataan yun. Eh. Tatawa ka. Wala na. Kapag tunay kang nagmamahal, at kapag tunay kang sumusunod sa Diyos, when you love, it is universal. Yayakapin mo lahat. Kaya kapag may mga pansin niya, pag may mga disaster, hindi ka naman mamimili. Kapag nagbigay ka ng donation, saan mo ibibigay yan? Uh, ito, si ibigay lang to sa mga ano ha, doon sa... Hindi. Para kanino, kahit kanino po na nangangailangan. That is love. At sa Ibanghelong binasa natin, mapansin natin na si Kristo, nireject ng kanyang tinatawag natin ng kanyang mga kababayan. Sa totoo lang, sabi nga, familiarity breeds contempt. Familiarity breeds contempt. Ibig sabihin, dahil kapag kakilala mo na ang tao, sometimes, sometimes, we look at them with contempt. Kapag ka nag-successful sa buhay nila, oh, may bago sa sasakyan. Hmm. Utang man yan. Ganda ng bahay nila. Utang niya. Kapag ang tingin natin sa ating kapwa, ating kamag-anak, eh, with contempt, eh, kilala ko yan eh. May nagsabi sa akin, minsan daw, kaya ka hindi nagtitiwala sa tao. Kaya ka nagtitiwala sa tao dahil kilala mo yung tao. Pero, it could be the other way. Kaya ka rin hindi nagtitiwala kasi kilala mo rin yung tao. Ito yung nangyari kay Kristo. Familiarity breeds contempt. Ang nakita lang nila ay yung kabataan ni Kristo na siya po'y karpentero, ang pamilya ni Kristo. Yun lang nakita nila. Alam niyo anong dahilan? Una, sapagat mababaw ang tingin ng mga kababayan ni Kristo sa kanilang lahi mismo. They could not believe that one among them could be a prophet. Hindi sila makapaniwala sapagkat mababa ang tingin nila sa kanilang sarili. Pansin nyo yan? Kapag uh, sa pamilya din ninyo, kapag uh, anak ninyo ang mababa tingin mo sa anak mo, o sa kapitbahay mo, anong sasabihin mo? Pag ang maasenso yan, okay, utang naman yan eh. Ah. Contempt, because kilala mo, familiar ka sa kanila. Kaya nga, sinasabi din dito, na if we want to look at someone, We look at them with love. Sa mga anak ninyo, paano nyo ba sila tingnan? Kilala nyo mga anak ninyo, mga kapatid ninyo, how you look at them? When you look at them with love, kasama dyan yung tiyatawag natin na faith and hope. Love begets faith. Love begets hope. 
Kapag tingin nyo sa kapatid nyo, sa anak nyo, anak, kaya mo yan. Kuya, kaya mo yan. Pag nag-take ng board exam, bumagsak, nasabihin mo, Kuya, kilala kasi kita. Ang tanga-tanga mo. But when you look at each one with love, Anak, kaya mo yan. Hirap, Mami. Kaya mo yan. Pag pumasa, makita mo sa dyaryo o sa internet, sasabihin mo sa anak mo, sabi ko naman sa'yo, anak. Eh. You look at them with love, with faith, and with hope. Ang nakita ng mga kababayan ni Kristo, imababa. They do not see beyond the child carpenter in Jesus. Tayo ba? Paano ba natin tinitin ating kapitbahay? Paano ba natin tinitin ang ating kapwa? Mga anak ninyo, kapatid ninyo. Do you look at them with love, with faith, and with hope? Pag ganun po ang tingin natin, mas madali po. You don't judge people. Kaya nga si Kristo, di ba, nung nagsabi siya, may binasa, bilib na bilib sila. Ang galing-galing naman nito. Sabi nung isa, di ba, kababayan, di ba anak yan ni San Jose? Kita mo na, ang nakita lang yung kanyang nakaraan. Yung kanyang trabaho before. They could not see any potential. But someone, but for someone who loved, ano makikita ninyo? Anak, pwede ka magdoktor. Anak, pwede ka maging pare. Anak, pwede. Bakit? When you see love, when you use love, you always see potential and goodness in that person. Yung pangalawang rason kung bakit hindi nila makita ang kabutihan ng ni Kristo, eh masyado silang regionalistic pa rin. Ibig sabihin, na, na, narinig na nila na si Kristo ay nagpagaling doon sa Kapernaong, gumawa ng mga milagro kung saan-saan. Anong gusto nila? Sabi nila, Jesus, narinig namin na ganito, ganyan. Baka pwede mo rin gawin dito muna sa amin. Baka pwede gawin mo muna dito sa amin. Kita mo na, our mission is to be universal. But then they are asking the Lord na unahin muna sila. But the Lord, true to His mission of universality, anong ginawa ni example? Sinaaman sa kayong babaeng balo. These are people, these are Gentiles, not Jews. It's to show to them that my mission is for all. Ganun po. Kaya galit na galit sila sapagkat gusto nila kami muna. Kapansin ninyo, ganun nangyayari sa atin sa Pilipinas sa election time. Ganun din ang nangyayari. Sa ibaboto ko, bakit? Kapitbahay, kababayan, kung ano paman. Di ba? But if we, if we are truly yan, concerned and love one another, ang pipiliin mo kung sino talaga yung tunay na may malasakit, yung tunay na may pagmamahal. Sa pamilya, ganun din eh. Yung anak mo, kapag ka nagdoktor na, ako, ako personally, alimbawa ako pag umuwi ako sa amin, maraming nakikinig sa akin pag nagmimisa, of course, perhaps we are forced by it. Pero pag umuwi ako sa bahay, Tawag sa akin ng mother ko. Oy, no. E minsan, di ba, sa bahay, meron tayong mga baso, pingga na nakareserve sa bisita. E ako, minsan, yung mga gusto ko yung gamitin, yung mga shiny-shiny na mga baso, ganyan. Kukuha ako niyan. Titingnan ako ng mother ko. O, on sana. O, oh, ba't mo pinapakialaman yan? Bisita ka ba? Sabi ko, ah, uh, bisita ma. Hindi ka bisita, anak kita. At kami sa bibi, oh, may Nescafe doon, yung basong Nescafe na ginamit, na wala ng laman, yun gamitin mo. Hindi ko sinasabi, hindi ako narespeto ng nanay ko, but, uh, you see, kapag ka nagmimisa ka, <clears throat> yung universality, 
Hindi na ako exclusive sa family ko. Kapag ka nagdoktor ka, kapag ka may tawag <clears throat> ng tungkulin, pupunta ka. Bakit? Hindi ka mamimili. Because that is your mission. You are called because of that. Ka siguro, ito yung hamon sa atin. Paano natin tingnan ang ating mga sarili, ang ating pamilya, ang ating kapitbahay? I hope na bagamat very familiar sa atin yung familiarity breeds contempt. Sa totoo lang po, hopefully, familiarity could also breed faith, hope, and love. At kapag pinili natin yan, mas may makikita tayong positive sa ating kapwa kaysa mag judge sa kanila. Remember this, familiarity could also build faith, hope, and love. Ganyan ba ang tingin niyo sa mga pamilya ninyo? Nanay niyo, anak niyo, kapatid niyo, kaibigan niyo? Ganyan ba? I hope so. Let us all stand. Together, let us profess our faith, I believe, in one God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made, for as men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, suffered death and was buried, buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We now ask our Heavenly Father for a discerning heart so that we may do His will in the challenges we meet each day. As we also celebrate through Life Sunday, let us pray that the freeing power of Christ may bring healing and new life to the world. For every petition we shall answer, Lord, listen to our prayer. Lord, listen to our prayer. For Pope Francis, bishops, priests, and deacons, and all church leaders, May they always stand up for the values of the gospel and never be dismayed or discouraged by opposition or lack of response. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. For those who wish to serve our country, may they dedicate their lives to protect and promote the dignity of life. May they also be examples of upright living and zealous service. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. For the end of the pandemic, may the Lord restore the sick to health, comfort the lonely and the elderly, and relieve the pain of those who suffer physically and emotionally. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. For the CBCP Episcopal Commission on, B on Biblical Apostolate, and other groups devoted to the promotion, study, and living of the Word of God. May they continue to grow and persevere despite many challenges and difficulties. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. For the intentions of Father Norman Kilakil Opi, who is celebrating his birthday today. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and their personal intentions. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. 
Loving Father, you love us and protect us always. Hear our prayers and make us your prophets who sow the seeds of your love everywhere we go. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by His birth He brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by His suffering canceled out our sins. By His rising from the dead, he has opened the way up to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, He has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with, all, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. 
He gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be God into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullest of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Please kneel. My dear brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel for the prayer for the elections. 
Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord, who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Be gracious to your people, O Lord, and do not withhold consolation on earth from those who call to strive for heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick, and afterwards we have the blessing for the blessing of rosaries and the religious articles. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Feed them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.